Hey, hey guys, it's Michelle B with Remax Services here in beautiful Boca Raton in sunny South Florida. And today I want to talk to you about why your listing expired and why your home didn't sell. So are you ready to roll? Let's do it, baby. Okay, so your house didn't sell. I know it's sad when that happens. It's kind of sad for everybody, but let's talk about why it didn't sell. Okay, so first and foremost, let's talk about price. If you have an overpriced listing, that's a problem. And if you get feedback from other realtors to your realtor saying your property is overpriced, you need to lower the price. And if you go to relist it, you really need to consider the information that your new listing agent may have uh, and also any feedback that you get as you move through the new listing. So remember, an overpriced listing, you're there not to sit on your property, you're there to sell your property. And second of all, if you're really, really unsure, get an appraisal done. Why not? It doesn't cost very much. And I've had sellers do that before and it's a good thing. That way you can hang on to it for down the road and maybe negotiation purposes. Number two, let's talk about marketing. Okay, so anybody can throw a listing on the MLS today, but with social media, with YouTube, with email, with texting, with direct messaging, you want to hire an agent that has a good handle on digital marketing and how they can run a Facebook ad for your neighborhood and uh, and surrounding areas to hopefully generate buyer leads and to put your property on social media and to do Instagram stories behind the scenes, uh, maybe a Facebook Live uh, open house or brokers open. You see where I'm going with this? It's gonna get you a lot more views of your property and you wanna have layers to what you are doing to promote your property that maybe your neighbor who's selling isn't doing. So keep that in mind. Realtors are marketers and you need to hire a marketer. Okay, number three, let's talk about staging. So staging doesn't have to be expensive. Sometimes it's just a matter of removing furniture or moving things around in your home, putting it in the garage, and maybe you need to go out on bulk day and just get rid of it already, that ugly brown chair or you know, whatever you have that you don't need. And staging also could include a hundred dollar run to Kmart, Walmart, Target, Home, goods and get like, um, you know, the, the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Comforter in a bag set and put that on your beds. You know what I'm saying? And make it look really nice. I always say, listen, get, get the nice white comforters with the white, um, do, uh, you know, throws and everything so that it really looks um, consistent in all the bedrooms and it, it makes it look so clean. Um, so keep that in mind uh, as far as staging. Staging also includes decluttering, which means clear the clutter on all your counters, go in your cabinets, get rid of crap already. I mean, look, you're going to be moving anyway, so you may as well get, get rid of it. So staging, clearing the clutter. If you need to hire a stager, I've got resources for that. In many cases, you can simply do some things at home and honestly just go on Pinterest and start looking at some Pinterest boards on how to stage your home and do it on a Saturday or a Sunday. It's so easy to do. All right, number four, let's talk about deferred maintenance to your house. You know and I know when you need to paint the inside of your house. You know and I know when you need to pressure clean your roof. You know and I know when you need to rip out the old crappy landscaping and get rid of your crappy uh, furniture on the patio. Uh, it's a matter of deferred maintenance. Fix the stuff before you list the property. You don't want any surprises with roof issues or AC issues. Have someone come over and take a look at everything. I mean, why wouldn't you do that? You don't want a surprise when you're in the middle of a deal. Okay. So get some of that maintenance done and clean things up so that your home just looks amazing. Okay. And lastly, and this does happen, you might have just hired the wrong agent. It happens. And if that's the case, um, lesson learned, and you move on to a different agent, and you ask a lot more questions about the capabilities, the marketing, um, who they know, their sphere of influence, how they do um, digital marketing and media in today's uh, very, very competitive real estate market. I hope these uh, five tips helped you out to understand why um, your home maybe didn't sell, and I'm sorry if it didn't. Uh, if you're in South Florida and you're in this kind of situation, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help you and give you my marketing plan and show you some of the things that I do. And um, if you want the full article with some great links to some other real estate articles in regard to uh, painting your house, 
bringing luck to your home sale and things like that, you can visit hashtag SoBoca, S3OsBoca.com. That's my local lifestyle blog, but I have a real estate component there. If you want the nitty gritty, all real estate only scenario, just go to callthebees.com. That is my homes.com site and uh, you can get uh, more stats and things that you want there. So my name is Michelle B. I'm with Remax Services here in beautiful, fabulous Boca Raton and I work in both Palm Beach and Broward counties. If you have referrals from around the country, feel free to send them my way before you call anybody else and I'll hook you up with a great agent somewhere globally. Have a great day, guys.